we are coming to Shiva Sutra 19. What he says, without support for feet or hands, without the support of feet or hands, sit only on your buttocks, center part, suddenly the centering happens. What happens? See, when you sit, sit in a position, exact position, where your buttocks is completely connected with the earth, the gravity. So, the minimum amount of gravity is needed. So, the body is full activeness. It should be centered. This is what the sutra is all about. So, here, but do we sit properly? <coughs> See, this technique has been used by Toists in China for centuries and it's a wonderful and a beautiful technique. So here, what's to be done here? What shall we do? Are we sensitive of our body? Definitely we are not sensitive of our body. We think it is a dead body we are carrying. We are not at all bothered about the beauty which it gives, the sensitiveness which it gives. So, how to sensationalize the body? You see, the buttocks is the most important part of your body. From morning to night, you sit in a place. But you never knew the importance of the buttocks because it is not at all given importance. You never have felt what it is like, morning to night. It has lost its sensitiveness. So, bring back the sensitiveness. That is what he says. And by bringing back the sensitiveness, you become, you come to the center point. You see the posture of either Buddha or Mahavir. How do they sit? Sitting they have a posture and with that posture they talk to the people. And which part has a connection with the earth? It is the buttocks which has the connection with the earth. So, centering and sitting in a proper position, see our foot is feet, the sole of our feet, daily it keeps on walking. So, it has lost its sensitiveness, you touch and feel it is so hard, you can never feel the beauty, any, any, any sensitiveness. Just like that by sitting, sitting, sitting the whole day, what happens? You have lost the complete sensitiveness of your buttocks. Nothing, you cannot feel anything. The entire strength, the entire vitality, the power, the centering, everything is there. There are different exercises called Kaya Kalpa. Make yourself feel young. It is based over there. The Muladharam, the entire power is based over there. You have to raise the Kuntalakini from Muladharanam. In the sense, there is a power beneath and you are not at all be, you are sensitive of that power over there. So, how to bring the sensitiveness to the buttocks? This is the very important question. Now, what you have to do is, what Shiva says is, take your left hand or right hand, just close your eyes, just close your eyes, take either your left hand or right hand, close your eyes, either one hand, and just feel about the hand, think about the hand, feel for some time, for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, daily, immediately you won't get it. Just you think the entire body, the entire life, your consciousness, you put on your left hand or right hand, any hand, just see it, just concentrate, forget all the parts of the body, only the right hand, just for 5 minutes. Only the right hand. You see the function of the right hand? You see the movements of your right hand? You see some jerks going on? Can you feel the nervous system? Can you feel the blood blowing? Can you feel the blood flowing? Can you feel the pulse rate going on? Just concentrate on the right hand, only on the right hand. 
daily you have to keep concentrating for 15 days or 21 days at the most 3 weeks 18 days then suddenly as you keep practicing this practice for 18 days after 18 days you will find you have got a new hand that old hand has gone this is a new hand you can find new sensitiveness in your hand this hand is a fresh one and you never feel that this hand has a old insensitive hand this hand has its own value so once after practicing in any part of your body either it is right hand or left hand or right leg or left leg or your backbone any part of the body for at least three weeks then after three weeks you concentrate on your buttocks just daily whenever you're sitting just sit and just feel the back part which touches the chair which you are sitting or the earth which you are sitting when you are sitting on the floor your back part buttocks touches the earth just try to feel it because that particular part you have forgotten completely as you keep concentrating for three more weeks first three weeks for the hand then once you are able to understand the hand sensitiveness you can feel the new hand then you concentrate on your back part buttocks for at least three weeks then what you are able to understand what you will be able to feel you feel <coughs> all the freshness the activitism the movements it is not like the sole of your feet you can understand the feelings it has initially as you keep concentrating you will feel it is heavy then after it, as days go by you feel you have a complete different position different posture or different body you have you can feel anything and happening inside the moments any slight pain you can feel it So daily you practice when you are lying on the bed, forget the whole body, just think there is only two buttocks, feel the touch of the bed sheet on your buttocks, the coldness or the warmthness which you are receiving, when you are taking bath, when you are sitting on the ground, feel the coolness in the bathroom, forget the body, remember only the buttocks and feel it stand against the wall press your back part buttocks on the wall and try to feel it so far you have never thought about that particular part so this exercise is make you to this exercise is to make you to feel to get the to make a situation where you get the feeling in your buttocks the Buddha's posture is like Bhatmasana, Siddhasana. How does he sit? He doesn't use his hands while sitting. His hands in a different place. He is just sits on his buttocks. Just closes his eyes. And he feels the touch on the ground. That's what you have to do. Once you feel the buttocks has the sensitiveness because of the practice. You can feel one buttocks is touching on the ground more, the other is less. Then you try to adjust. Then you are trying to adjust and come to the first. There are two buttocks are there. Once you sit on the ground, suddenly you can, since it becomes sensitive, suddenly you can find one buttocks has more weight, it is pressing on the ground, one is less then you try to bring it to the balance and you keep on doing it and you get the balance then at the time when both the buttocks feel the same 
pressure then it becomes sensitive because of sensitiveness you can feel it once the buttex is a balance suddenly the centering happens what is the centering you get the divine divinity and the centering moves towards your navel part navel is the center part your body feels sensitive your buttex got the sensitiveness when it touches the ground you can feel you are sitting in an even patch once you are since you have got the sensitiveness of the buttocks you know how to balance and sit and when it touches the ground that magnetic pull the centering it comes to your navel here the centers are not meaningful there are different centers are there this just is not meaningful but centering is very important the centering may happen at the heart the centering may be ha may happen at your head the centering may happen at your navel in your buttocks or anywhere so to practice this practice this go to temple you see the people how they are sitting lord buddha or mahavir how do they sit and try to sit in this posture well balanced and here happens the centering here happens the centering means what you are come on come to your control you have brought your mind to your control your mind is in your control 